everybody Tony here um, I'm making a video at the weirdest time of day I have to go to work and like oh man I gotta leave in like 15 minutes I don't know why I'm doing this but I am you can see my door is off, off the hinge uh, sooner or later that'll get fixed so uh, hi it's late September mid-September uh, the autumnal equinox is in three days I believe so I felt like and someone asked me if I'm making some uh, Halloween videos this year. I was like, yeah, I probably will. Um, I don't know. This doesn't this doesn't really count because I'm putting very little effort into this. But, hi, I'm here. I have a few things I could talk to you about and tell you about. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit excited because I'm sure most of you have heard by now that there may be possibly, perhaps, uh, new McDonald's Halloween pails this year. I don't know if this is just a rumor or something that's actually happening. But, of course, anyone in our sphere of Halloween has heard of this now and is probably keeping every single finger and toe crossed and just like, yes, make it happen. I'm right there with you, buddy. I, I really would like to uh, go into a McDonald's and order three, I don't know if it would come with kids' meals or what, probably, right? I order three kids' meals, one with a different pail, each one with a different pail. Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Not that I haven't found many of those pails over the years at yard sales and flea markets and passed them up or bought them and only to give them away or sell them uh, to the point where I think I have maybe one laying around somewhere. So I'm not sure why I'm so excited. I guess it's just the idea that something from the 80s and 90s is coming back. I, I suppose that's what it's all about. Uh, so um, I'm going to start with the most exciting thing. Here's the most exciting thing. I decided to make my own Halloween VHS mixtape. Yeah, you heard right. I have been working pretty hard on this for weeks, a couple weeks at least. There are a couple caveats to this, one of which is that it's not going to be actually recorded to physical VHS tapes simply because I don't have... I don't have the capability of doing that on any kind of large scale, you know, to, like, sell VHS tapes. I don't have... I have a VH, uh, VCR, but, you know, I'm still figuring out if I can even record what I've made onto one. I'm, I'm looking into that. I, yeah, I'm not going to be, like, making a bunch to sell, but I am making them so that you can get a digital copy, and then if you want to record, if you have the capabilities to record it to a, v, a VHS tape and whatnot, you could totally do that. So here's how I'm... Well, first let me show you the artwork I did for it. So I did a little, a little cover because I got all into it. I don't know if you're even seeing this. I'll have to look at the recording and see if this is even working. But I made a little cover that is a, a full-size uh, art cover so that when you get the zipped file of the six, I forgot to tell you, it's six hours of content. So when you get the six hour Halloween mixtape and you get this, you could, you know, print this out, get get it printed out in color, get a uh, clamshell case, record the digital file to a, a tape, and uh, have yourself a physical copy.
So, uh, how do you get one of these bad boys? Well, join my Patreon. I know it's like a maybe a slightly shitty thing to do. It's like, hey, you have to join my Patreon to get one of these. But, on the other hand, you could join for a dollar. You know, that's the lowest cost uh, join up. And it's for an entire month. You get all the other stuff, access to Discord, all the other digital tapes that I've been... I'll show you the tapes in a second. I've been doing digitized Halloween sounds tapes and all my news and blah, 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 all this stuff. You could go look. And, you know, you could obviously join at a higher tier and get better stuff, more stuff. But, you know, if you just want this tape, you join up for a month or whatever for a buck and you got it. I'm going to be sharing it soon, probably within the next... Uh, Probably this week. I'm hoping to share it this week. So that's that. That's the one of the more exciting Halloween things I've been doing. If I do manage to get it on a physical tape, I'm going to show that to you guys soon in a future video. I also picked up the record for Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown soundtrack. They just re-released it with more content. So there were like extra tracks that were previously lost, I guess, and it's... I, I believe also remastered. Don't quote me on that. You could get, like, the pumpkin-shaped one if you want, but I just went for the regular record. But it does have um, some really cool liner notes that comes with, like, almost a mini poster of that scene there. The liner notes are updated as well, so that's kind of cool. You know, you could listen to this for free on Spotify, but I have a little... Halloween record collection, so this felt like an appropriate addition to that collection. I've also been pulling out some of my old Halloween sound CDs and things. So these are all things I've already had. I didn't just buy these or anything, but I have a whole bunch of um, old Halloween sound CDs. Fright Night, got the Old Grey Goose, the Ghastly Ones. That's actually... Uh, not a, like a Halloween Sounds record. It's a, a real, it's, you know, a band. Um, Tales from the Tomb. And, oh, that doesn't go with there. And then, the other thing I'm doing on my Patreon, so if you were to join up, I've also been taking old, I have a whole bunch of old Halloween Sounds uh, cassette tapes. And these are, like, mostly, <clears throat> like, you can't find this stuff, usually. Um, it's not, like, necessarily copyrighted anymore. It's old, you know, just cheap tapes that they used to get, sell for a buck or whatever. So I've been digitizing these and, and giving them to my Patreon members. So if you want access to some of these, I didn't do that one yet. I did, I did this one which actually is a tape I owned. This is mine from, a lot of these are, but this one is mine from the late 80s into early 90s. And as I was digitizing it, I found out on the first side, there was a full 10 minutes that I accidentally recorded over on Halloween night, 1993. Uh, so the digitized version of this one actually comes with like a bonus track of the what I recorded. A lot of it is intelligible, you can't hear it, but... There is some stuff that you can hear. It's kind of funny. But I also realized that not everyone wants that. So I ended up buying a better copy on eBay. So I'm going to digitize that one too. So you have like the full unblemished tape. And anyway, I, you know, I'm not going to show you every single tape I have here. But I have a whole bunch of Halloween, Halloween sounds. These are all, you just can't see them, but they're in there. Those are all black. <laughs> uh... So I'll be doing more of those into October. Uh, there might be some other surprises happening. We'll see. I actually got some decorating done. I keep... I forget that I'm mirrored. I bought... That's the only real new thing I bought was the um, uh, Jack Blow Mold. And I got the Oogie Boogie I got last year. And um, this other stuff I've had. It's just put up some decorations and lights and whatnot. Hopefully y'all are having a good September. I hope you are planning something fun for the autumnal equinox. Get some some seasonal beer, uh, maybe make a pumpkin pie or something or an apple pie and uh, watch some horror movies. Oh, by the way, 
I actually also made a September Halloween countdown calendar, which I also have only shared with my Patreon members. I've been doing just to make sure that my Patreon members are getting, you know, their worth. I've been sharing a lot of stuff I used to just give out publicly. I am trying to kind of just give to them now. Um, so I will be doing one for October as well. So if you want those countdown calendars, you could get those through the Patreon as well. Yo, I uh, just got back from work, so... What you've been watching, I recorded earlier. I just got back from work, and I got the mail. I had to show you this, because I'm super excited about it. Um, it's a copy of Publishers Weekly for September 5th of 2022. And you know what's in there? Oh, man, this is exciting. That's right. A review of my new novel. I know it's kind of hard to see. Check that out. Order of Tommy and Order of Cosmic Champions. It got a um, five stars and it got the little lightning bolt. I don't think you can see it, but that little lightning bolt right there signifies an editor's pick. See that? So this is an editor's pick. And uh, it was a hell of a good review. A very exciting one to get. And super exciting for that to be in the Publishers Weekly. All right, Tony, I'm throwing it back to Tony. Anywho, have a great one. Uh, happy spooky season. I'll be back. I'll do some more stuff. I'll try to do more polished video for you soon. And don't ever forget, breathe deep of the night. See you all soon.